Widgets are another form of plugins. They are also used to provide your website with additional functionality. The difference between widgets and plugins is that the additional functionality that plugins provide sometimes run in the back end and is only seen by the admin of the website. Widgets on the other hand are plugins that are always visible to the public. Here are some examples of different widgets that are currently active on this website. These widgets here are usually active by default. Let's go into the admin area and take a closer look at widgets. Scroll down to appearance and click on widgets. On the right hand side you can see the widgets that are currently being displayed on the website. Let's go ahead and remove the default ones so we can add some better ones. To remove them Simply left click on them and drag them out of the box. Now that we have removed all the widgets, let's go and take a look at the website. As you can see, Search, Archives and Meta are still showing. This is because if there are no widgets in the sidebar, then these are displayed by default. Let's go back into the admin area and install a cool widget so we can get an idea of what type of widgets are available and how to use them. Scroll down to plugins and click on add new. In the search box type easy Facebook like box and press enter. We are going to install the first one because it has the best rating and the most downloads. You can see here that this plugin can also be used as a widget. Let's install it. Once it has been installed, make sure you activate it. Now go back to the widgets area. If you take a look under Available Widgets, you will see the Easy Facebook Like box we just installed. Left click on it and drag it into the sidebar box. Now that the widget has been activated, let's go ahead and configure it. In the title, I'm going to write Like Me. In the Facebook URL, I'm just going to paste my Facebook fan page URL. Application ID is optional, so I'm going to skip it with I'm going to write 289 because I know that this width works best for this theme. If you are using a different theme, then you will probably need to play around with the width to get it looking the best it can be. I want to use the default height for the widget, so I'm going to leave it blank. Then there are some other options you can play around with to get the Facebook like box to look how you would like it. Just for your information, if you copy and paste the shortcode into the text tab of a page or a post, it will display the Facebook like box in that specific page or post, as well as the sidebar. Click on save and go take a look at your website. And there we go. Here is the Facebook widget we just added. Let's go ahead and add one more widget. Go to your admin panel and go back down to plugins and then add new. In the search box type special recent post and press enter. Install this plugin. Activate it. Then go back into the widgets area.
Scroll down until you find the special recent posts widget that we just added. Left click on it and drag it into the sidebar box above. Again, this widget gives us options, so let's go ahead and configure it. Under widget title, I'm going to write recent posts. This widget is very flexible and as you can see, it gives you a lot of options that you can play with. Click on save and then go view your website. As you can see, under the Facebook like box, we have now added recent posts. Here are the two posts that we created earlier in this WordPress training series. If you click on one of these posts in the widget area, it will take you to the actual post. Even though we took a look at the options available to us in the widget area, there are actually more options within the plugin itself. Let's quickly take a look at this. Go back to the admin area and click on plugins. Can you see that the easy Facebook like box and special recent posts both have a settings link? If you click on this, you will be given even more options. Keep in mind that changing the settings on the plugin will also affect the widget. Also, another thing to note here is that by clicking on the settings under the plugin area, we will link to another section that was created when we installed the plugin and is available to us now on the sidebar.